back to another episode of Empyrean Galactic Survival. This is your host, Zila, and we're here today doing the Ultimate Iron Man Competition Season Zero. It's kind of the test season. Uh, this is the after the first mission video video. Um, okay, so I'm, you can see right now I'm level 24, almost level 25, and, oops, get out of there, and, um, I'm about to level to 25, so I'm going to start off the video, I think, by leveling to 25, and, oh, comm center, uh, yeah, don't, uh, shoot me, please, where, where are you, comm center? Did I just get too close to the one in front of me? Yeah, okay, that's fine. Um, Okay, so I want to keep... I've been farming Xerax around the drone base to uh, level up, and I'm, I'm almost there, so let's finish it off. And then we're going to try and uh, get enough mats together to spawn in a CV. So yeah, this should be interesting. Is that going to shoot at me? Probably will, won't it? sure where the turret is. Okay, let's just uh, keep our distance. Although I do really want to loot these things because I've been looting uh, refined pentaxin off them. But I don't think I don't think I can get close enough though, right? It's going to start shooting. Isn't that a turret right there? Close enough? Can I get close enough? Oh! Oh, maybe. Although it's the, uh... No, the drone's not coming? Okay, we might be able to do this. Let's quickly try and loot them. Okay, it's worth giving it a try. It's worth giving it a try. Let's, let's go really quick. Come on. Oh, come on. Really? Really? Oh, stop it! <laughs> For some reason it won't spawn if I don't have my jetpack on. Okay. See, that doesn't make any sense. I don't know what the hell is up with that. I, uh, it's kind of a bug, in my opinion. <laughs> it won't Oh, there's a Xerox there I left. Oh, good thing I'm not too low to the ground here. I just want their goodies. Thank you very much. That's it, just the three of them. Okay. Okay, so we'll shoot this guy. We need 1,550. 1550. There's 1100. There's two. Oh, look at that. Two of these things in this tiny little pond. And there we go. Level 25 on a tentacle monster. How nice. How nice. Okay, so. Um, I'm not going to worry about looting him. I looted enough of them. <laughs> I've looted a lot of Xerox. They're, they're everywhere. See that? It didn't take long. Trust me, it didn't take long at all. I've barely been out here. Maybe 15 minutes. <laughs> He's like but to two full levels. At the highest level, too. So, wait, I'm going the wrong way, aren't I? Where's my... Oh, I got everything turned off. Why did I bump the... Yeah, I must have. Okay. No, I'm going the right way. Okay, let's head back. Um, so, what I'm going to do is I'm going to head back to base. I'm going to clean up all the stuff in which is actually here. I'll show you while I'm, while I'm in here. A lot of the loot from the mission and all of the POIs around it. <laughs> so, woo! 
heavy armor, and just like so much stuff. Um, oh, and I found a, on the way back, I also found what was called a wreckage, but it was actually a wreckage of a CV with a bunch of thrusters in it, so that was awesome. I got a bunch of uh, medium and small thrusters out of it. Um, and I'm hoping between all the loot that I have and the stuff that I have back at the mining hub, I'll have enough to spawn in the CV now that we're at level 25. Okay, let's be a little careful of this guy here. I don't think I've neutered him yet. In fact, I haven't really neutered many bases on this ginormous planet. Basically, just a, f a couple, a few more than uh, than the mission POI and the, and the surrounding bases around that. So there's still a ton to do on this planet, but we're, we don't have the time. We just don't have the time now, because now we have to go do a mission and have it posted by next Wednesday um, on another sector in another sector so we have to warp and I don't want to do it with just my SV I want to just go there if I'm gonna go there I'll just go there so because I'm not really sure because it seems like we only need to like warp once to another sector and deal with that sector then warp to the next sector type thing. That's what I'm hoping. I'm hoping I don't have to warp all over the place. And I've got lots of gear now, so I don't have to do a ton of gear um, looting. Like, I don't have to go do a whole bunch of uh, smash and grabs. I think at this point it's more um, getting the resources for like the ammo and stuff and maybe some more you know neo and sath some of the higher end resources so i might have to go mine some pentaxin on the moon or the we'll see if there's a i don't think there's actually a moon where we're going to so we'll probably have to go to the moon and mine some pentaxin uh that's fine okay So, let's see what we've got here, and uh, you know what, I could probably just turn it right off at this point and I'll grab what's out of the fridge. And then I'll start grabbing stuff out of the cargo. Yikes. <laughs> okay. Oops. Come on. Let me out. Turn our lights on. Let's put our food away. Oh, that there. Okay. So we've got lots of food in the fridge. We're we're not going to be starving anytime soon. We've got like an abundance of food. So we're probably going to be able to take all this with us and just, you know, carry on. Uh, we're up to 17 pentaxid. I think that's enough now to warp to the next sector where we have to go. 13, yep. But I'd, I wouldn't mind actually having some extra. And this guy actually sells it. I just don't have... I got enough to buy like two more. Not even. Now I do have the credit cards and there's some cash. So we'll take a look at what we got here. And uh, we'll start putting some stuff away. Um, did I have, I think I put, no. Okay. Okay, so we don't, there's no 
tools there. That's all meds and stuff. Okay. Actually, let's put the meds. First of all. <laughs> hey. Let's keep just, just grabbing. Now, I think what I'll do is I'm going to immediately go into my... Um, blueprints and get this queued up so this is the CV mini miter it's level 25 mining vessel that that is mined super fast it's warp capable um, and really that's about it it does have an advanced constructor on it it has a repair station not a repair bay because it doesn't even have like a anywhere to dock really um, it's a mining ship okay uh, but it's not a drop ship really although I do use it as a drop ship but that we'll get into that later uh, so you can see my limiting factor threat this stuff is gonna be super easy because of all the, the the stuff I looted this though the restroom and Zascosium and maybe the 800 COBOL. So let's send that to the factory. Uh, we do have a little bit of cobalt already in the factory, so that's good. So we'll just start throwing some of this crap in there for now. I don't want to put too much iron in first, and I want to keep these sentry guns because I, I want to actually mount it on it. So what we're going to do is we're going to start putting some of this crap away. Wow. So let's, uh, let's do that. ammo and stuff okay guns and stuff and stuff okay we've got a big supply of armor now uh, we've got and we've got more to sell too I believe we've got more uh, medium armors to sell in another locker don't we maybe not no that's three medium three heavy four heavy including the one I'm wearing which didn't really take much damage at all I only got I only actually got shot a couple times I think there's like a couple of the turrets got me uh, one of the shotgun guys got me once like I didn't really get shot that much so my armor didn't get beat up uh, oh, let's, let's so yeah, there's the credit card. We can go put that away. Okay. Over a thousand credits again. We can buy some more pentaxid, but let's. So let's just keep grabbing stuff here. To tier two, tier two. Now those have actually neodymium in them, I believe. Large generator and T two pulse. I've got a non-repairable enhanced T two, so I should probably keep that T two pulse around. I can also deconstruct a bunch of the stuff, but I don't need to deconstruct it if I'm throwing it directly into the blueprints. So let's do that. Uh, let's put away some of the stuff that I'm not going to be throwing away. So, go into the blocks for now. And you can see that I do have. No, it's not in this one. It is. Here, let's. I want to put that. I want to put. Oh no. Hold on to that. Oops, actually, that's weapons. Okay. Put that away. We're up to 29. Nice. Okay, so at least we can do a return trip. We can do a return trip. That's good. I just don't want to get stuck there, right? 
So that'll allow us to go there and back, just in case there's no Pentaxit. Uh, okay, let's throw a bunch of this stuff in here now, so we can do this multi-tool. Uh, oh, I didn't check to see how much that was worth, the T2, so that was 10 Neo and some Sath. Cobalt, too. Accounted for Cobalt? Oh, yeah, cool. Uh, Mike, I, I think I should put that in there. <laughs> Cobalt. Uh, okay. Throw this in, throw this in, throw this in. I, I don't want to get too crazy with the iron because this doesn't have a lot of iron to it. Throw that in because I can just use blocks, uh, the hardened steel, and that'll count for the sathium and the iron. So I got to be careful with that stuff. I'll do that last. Uh, so let's keep throwing stuff in. Iron, silicone, and all that. That's just Okay, the cobalt is kind of concerning. The cobalt is very concerning, actually. Ooh, this is cobalt, isn't it? Yeah, big cobalt. Nice. Oh, copper's full. I had to do that to get that cobalt in there, though. Uh, shotgun. Trigger. Get the projectile pistol in there. Doors. Shutter windows. It's also reducing the time to spawn it in. Uh, ooh, wait. Gotta be careful on the iron. Okay. Okay, let's... Put some more stuff away. I know this is boring, guys, but this is how I'm actually going to build a CV. Right now. Level 20 lot. Okay. And... Uh, where was that one? I think it was all... Yeah. This is what I want to sell. I can add a bunch more to it, too, now. God, I've looted just a ton of boosters. Holy crap. Okay. Uh, let's keep getting stuff. So. Nice. Let's see what we can throw in there. So, yeah, this this will count for our restroom Zascosium. Not enough, but it's a start. Keep doing the large generators. They're good for the Neo. This will be good Neo. Uh, combat steel, auto miner cores. Okay. So we'll go in here, we'll just throw that into there for now. And we're going to go, you know what, the meds can go in there for now. I don't need all the meds on me right now. Okay. Get the ammo put away. I know this is tedious, but trust me, it's good to put it away right away, because then you know what, let's um, put that in there. Put those in there. Oh, that was just iron. Covered windows. Okay. Okay. in there, so it's going to go in this one. My cargo to dump for sale. Probably going to sell more than that, but for now. OK. 
Okay. And... Okay, oh, there's some more refined taxid. Okay, good. Um, so, let's start off with the stuff to go in here. Oh, more fuel tanks. Copper's going way up. Cobalt, I'm getting closer. Getting closer. Oh, force fields. These give us a restroom of Zascosium. Uh, Neo, and Neo, uh, Cobalt, and just all iron, silicone. Uh, the three basics. Okay. Let's put that stuff away. I can always go back and grab stuff again if I deem that it's like, oh, I should have done that. Okay, two. Okay, so let's go into. Here. Meds. Uh, dump chest. And fuel. 36. That's good. It's like half a tank. Okay. Getting there. Getting there. We've almost got the SV cleaned out. Okay, so that looks pretty juicy. That looks pretty juicy. Okay. That. And. That. of those. Ooh, the cobalt is over the top now. Thrusters. Don't need to put those in there anymore. So Neo, a restroom Zascosium. Projectile turrets. Okay. Getting down to the nitty gritty, what I want to use up. Okay, and. And the boost. Okay. Almost. We're gonna. I don't know where we're gonna find the rest of the arrest room in Zascosium. I don't think we're gonna have it. It's unfortunate. But such is life. Definitely way over in the cobalt. Getting close to the neo now. Yeah, it doesn't contribute. Okay, silicone's over, cobalt, silicone, copper, so the iron's going to be easy. The neo, we've almost got that. Okay. anything okay and blocks 
I know this is boring watching all this, but I'm just trying to get all my... Okay, so there's some more in the restroom. That's some more Neo. Neo. Uh, crap, is that it? I might not have enough Neo. And Sath. Uh. Oh, so close there. Just shy. Um, uh, we're short on the arrest rooms. Ascosium. Okay, let's go take a look to see what that was it for that, right? I think we got everything out of here now, didn't we? Yeah. Okay. Oh. Oh, whoa, 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 forgot all about this stuff. Yeah. Yeah. Well, let's just take it all, right? Okay, so let's put that in there and then that in there and then we don't need cobalt uh, I don't want to fry I can use blocks for the sathium because that'll count for iron too on the Neo. Okay. So, we'll just put this stuff in here. Now, restrooms, Ascosium, not enough. That's a lot of flux coils, though. Huh. And the sathium. So I've got lots of sathium. I've got like a thousand ingots. <sighs> See a restroom in Zascosium. I'm going to have to go out into space and see if I can find more somehow or another. Yeah. Yeah, I just don't have it. I don't have it. I'm not going to be able to do this. Ah, that sucks. <laughs> huh. You know what I could do? I could go into creative, pop the drills off it, because I don't necessarily need the drills. And then, but then I'll lose all the time I put into it, right? With all the, but I think that'll be quicker anyway. And then I can just go sleep the time away or something. Hmm. That's not a bad idea. So let's do that. We'll finish off the episode by, um, by cheaping out. So. <laughs> let's do this. Oops.
wrong button. I'll just go into a creative here. Um, Tempered orbit. Sure. Okay. Yes, I'm working on a space base doesn't look like much right now but so the concept is it's got a small fly through hangar for uh, SVs it's got a upper deck for CVs or SVs and it's also got this zone here which is completely encapsulated and and sealed you can have oxygen in here uh, the actual the solar panels are airtight so I'm just using them as as walling and then the um, there's no seams to any of the uh, force fields because of how I've got the force fields connected to the base so you can fly a CV a really giant CV in and just park with it partially in the force fielded area and step out into an oxygenated area so it's kind of handy um, it's really good for like transferring goods and stuff so so nice yeah uh, I've got a bunch of stuff set up there and then in here I could probably turn this off because it's all gravity so and then we'll get down into the the garden area I don't have any plots in there because it's easier to spawn in without plots we have furnace and oxygen and hmm only solar capacitors yep this has no absolutely no generators just solar capacitor now this isn't the most ideal setup this this isn't where um, obviously facing the Right now I can get 1.3 megawatts, how it's facing, and it's consuming idle about half that, so it's it's always fully charged, pretty much, uh, which is great. Now, the key to solar power in space is the closer you are to the sun, the, most, the more powerful it is. At least that's how it was just up until recently and up until one of the most more current patches and I haven't checked it out since then um, if you can get it close enough to a sector that's close to the Sun you can get close to five full megawatts out of it and that's enough to drive like a couple of furnaces all your constructors all your grow lights a deconstructor and you can just leave them on you don't have to turn your lights off or anything <laughs> ever it's more power than what the base consumes and that's 24 7 because you're out in space you're not moving anywhere you're always got that sun directly on you so it's 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 really awesome in that setup okay so enough of this base that you will be I will be spawning this in in ultimate Iron Man I'm not sure if I'm going to do the hangered version with that SV hanger below. I may, I may not. Uh, so here we are. And what I'm going to do is I am going to spawn in. Not sure if I have it anywhere. No. 
don't want to give away too many of my uh, constructions here, so let's just spawn this in, and we're going to modify it. So this is my uh, CV minimi mini miner, and what I want to do is to reduce the Arrestrium Zascosium cost. I'm just going to literally just remove the drills. So I can just pop the drill out and that should still all be sealed because the drills aren't. So I had to design the hall to be able to be sealed around the drills. I know it looks like just cargo box and stuff, but did you know that if you put in the right cargo box, it's sealed. Now this doesn't this doesn't give me much protection, so you know I got to be really careful when I go out into space with this thing. But this will get it spawned in, and I can always just put some blocks in there temporarily after I spawn it into. Uh, you know, just to, to cover up some of the more exposed parts there. Okay. Okay, I think that's all six. So, I will resave this. Save as mini minor uh, we'll call it the point five. <laughs> okay. We can get back into our other game now. So I use creative, I go into creative a lot just to do, what's the warning? It's giving me some, it's telling me something, but it's not. Whatever. Okay, so let's get this CB mini minor 0.5 we're gonna send that to the factory and it's almost ready to go we just got to put in some um, let's see a restroom is goes in for oh the repair station inside right yeah that's fine that's fine that's fine. At least this will give me a warp capable CV. <laughs> uh, okay. So, where did I put all those blocks? They're just blocks. So, where did I put them? I think this is my blocks. My blocks. So, we want the hardened steel. And then I'm going to grab these for after to cover up some of the, um, you know, blemishes. <laughs> Okay, that's it. That's all I need, right? Correct. Okay. Oops. And so, hmm. I think we're going to need at least, yeah. Yeah. I'm going to need to use some combat steel ones too. There we go. Start production in one hour. We're going to have a CV. An hour and 17 minutes. We're going to have a work capable CV. Okay. Well, I think what I'll do in preparation for the CV is. 
I just pulled all that stuff off there. But I, what I'll do is I'll just move the the SV out of the way to just spawn in the CV on this platform. It should be should be big enough. I made it in thought of spawning in the mini miner on it, so I'm pretty sure it should be big enough. Um. Yeah, I think off camera what I'm going to do is I'm going to start multi-tooling down this place. I'm going to grab my sprouts. I'm going to grab all the grow pots. I'm going to grab all the oxygen and fuel out of this place. I'm going to grab all the good stuff out of it. And we're going to throw it all into the cargo boxes of the vehicles. And yeah, right. I know, I know, I just, I know, I just emptied that one, but I emptied it in an organized fashion. I'm not going to guarantee that it'll go back in an organized fashion, but hey, I, okay, don't judge me. I'm going to go pick my flowers. So, I think I will buy what I can off him right now. And that'll give us a little bit more. So we're into the, I think we have about 40 now or something like that. So uh, we should be able to make a couple round trips. And um, yeah, or at least, you know, at least get around a little bit to find it. So I'm going to pick this stuff. And then I'm going to zap it all down. I know, I know it sounds crazy, but... I don't need to keep a base here anymore. I don't think. I don't think I do. And in fact, we'll be we'll be heading to the moon with everything once we get it all packed up in the CV. So let's take our sprouts. Oops quickly take our sprouts now with the temperature out. Oh, 19, that's not a big deal. We'll be fine in here. We'll be fine. Hmm. Staying 25 degrees, is that because I'm under the light? I guess so. Oh, right, they did that for outdoor, didn't they? Oh, let's, um... They did that for outdoor growing. So that, uh... I the plants wouldn't die from freezing so easy. Don't put that in there. Let's see what? Jeez. Okay. Okay, well, I am going to finish, I'm going to keep multi-tooling this thing. I mean, I've got tons of multi-tool charges and a T2 multi-tool and lots of food. So uh, I think we're going to be golden. Um, what I should do is, while it's doing this, get the advanced constructor making a bunch of fuel here. And uh, we don't have a lot of time. I, I'm not going to turn these things on again. I'm just going to take the water. Turn some of it into oxygen. The rest is going to get turned into fuel. Okay. So let's do that. Okay, so we've got quite a bit of fuel. We've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven hundred water in a bit. So let's start by making oxygen. We're going to make, um, we get two per 20, 40, 60, 80. A hundred, we'll make a hundred bottles, O2 bottles. And then 
whatever's left there of the water we will spin up into fuel so we'll just we'll try and make a hundred it's not going to make a hundred because there's i don't think there's going to be enough fuel because we can only make um 20 per oh it might five yeah it could we we'll see how much the O2 uses up. It's going to be close. We'll use up almost all of it there. We might get close to 100, though. So, uh, next episode, we will have the CV ready to spawn in. I'll have all this, all the good stuff multi-tooled. I'm not going to have the buildings and stuff multi-tooled down because I don't really need all the iron, this, the, the standard iron blocks. I don't really need those. The steel blocks but i will take like the hangar doors and stuff like that because there's there's actually cobalt in hangar doors people don't realize that but yeah you can't make hangar doors without cobalt so i'm going to take those with me too i'm going to take the constructors with me all the um all the cargo um all the other good stuff you know lots of the lights and 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 windows because all that silicone it, it costs a lot of silicone to make windows it really does. We've taken all this stuff. So we're gonna just gonna pack this place up. Um, got the multi, I haven't went over and multi-tooled those. That's the other thing too. I can take the CVU over with the, with the little HV, uh, with the multi-tool turret on it, we can go multi-tool those POIs down too. So that's good. We can get some major amount of uh, uh, blocks happening for construction um, for for like a bigger better um, blueprint of some sort maybe a combat CV in the future well, probably guaranteed depending on what the um, POI is so I'm going to leave it off here guys we're making progress we've got the blueprint happily on its way um, down to just over an hour now and uh, next episode we will get this spawned in we will get it fueled up we'll get it fired up and we will take it out probably we'll probably go to space right away we almost can I, I probably should go to the take it to the moon and get some pentaxid or while this is cooking what I should do oh oh my god that's brilliant I can no I'll just I'll just hand pop the blocks out of here so that I can choose which ones to take I'm not gonna I'm I'm not gonna multi-tool down a civilian POI very selective on the blocks that I take out of here. Well, this was a very good um, start for me. Uh, the three POIs definitely made it a lot easier for me to establish myself on day one. Uh, you know, just... <laughs> You know, here's an advanced constructor with a couple more constructors and a furnace and, you know, some uh, other gear and just everything you need. And, yeah, it was, it was a little bit too easy of a start because of that. But that's, that's just how the game is. That's a part of the game. Um, you know, I'm not necessarily complaining. The only thing that I didn't like so far on the start planet here was it was just too big really it just needs to be one size smaller and it would be just perfect okay guys uh next episode we will have a cv so until then you guys have yourselves an awesome awesome day <laughs>